Hi everybody. Welcome back for our unboxing of Christmas. So these are uh, another set of nine that I got. So as you saw before, my Halloween ones and my Thanksgiving ones, um, this is the Christmas ones. So stay tuned for the end of this because you'll see the completions of my Thanksgiving ones. So let's get into this. I did open it, like I said um, previously, I think in my Halloween one, because I wanted to make sure that I opened the right one at the right time, you know? So this is a nine pack. <clears throat> Let me get all these out. I like these little Ziploc bags that they come in because they're really good to store them in while you're working on them and you don't you don't lose anything. So bear with me with all the crinkling and I'll open this up and we'll get into it. Hope everybody's doing good. So it comes with three toolkits. Uh, typical green boats, regular pens, boats of wax or plates of wax, and our and some Ziploc baggies. So set those aside for now. These are all of our drills. Set those aside, and here we are with our Christmas ones. So there's nine of them in here, right? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine of them. So, all right, so <laughs> what I was gonna say, I had to pause for a minute because my dog rang his doorbell wanting to go outside, but he really didn't want to go outside. So <laughs> we got nine of them. And I'm going to zoom in, and we'll go through these one by one. All right, let's see. That's a little too far in, isn't it? Oops. Sorry, I moved my whole camera there for a minute. Didn't mean to do that. All right, that looks good there. And these are a little curled, but not a big deal. So um, just bear with me while we go through these. I'm going to set these aside. We'll go one by one. Each has their own drill kit which is really nice. I like that. Um, I hope you guys can see here. Let me turn on my other light. There we go. It gives us a little bit more light there. So this is really pretty. This has got a, a Christmas tree, um, some penguins, some presents, um, a nice blue background. And pull it up so you can see the symbols. They look pretty good. Yeah. All right. So on the top of this, it says it is um, 55, number 55. So let me find my drills for number 55 here. And we'll go through and see these real quick. And you know what? I'm having a lot of fun with these, um, these nine packs. Uh, in all reality, it would be nicer if um, um, you could got, you get these for like all different occasions, right? Uh, so far, I've only seen the three that I got, but I'm going to keep an eye out for future holiday ones because I'd like, I like doing this, the nine pack with you guys for the different holidays. All right, so we've got nice green, black, darker green, even darker green, although they do look the same. I did notice on um, some of my uh, Thanksgiving ones that they, um, they were separated, kind of like this one here is separated. But they're so close in color that when they're on the on the canning the canvas themselves, it's hard to tell them apart. So you got a, a nice orange, pale orange there, 
a nice like pale yellow, a um, couple different uh, shades of blue. Let's see, even these blues look the exact same. Same size and everything. <laughs> and you've got a larger blue here. Oops. There's a lot of glare. Larger blue and then an even larger blue. Then I have a couple more over here. So you got a nice white. I like this really uh, pale blue. Orange. Orangish red, I guess. And then this like aqua green color there. And remember, Stacy, fold these with the numbers out so that I can see what they are. Because last time when I put them all back in the bag, I had, I had to take them all out to find out which painting they went to. <laughs> they do have the, um, the numbers written on the bag of the drills there, so you can see that 55 written right there. So I know it goes with this painting. So yeah, so there's the Christmas tree penguins. Set that aside. Okay, number two is this snowman with a present. And it looks like it's a present hanging from a string there from his arm. Nice little top hat. It looks like it says, let it snow up there in the corner. I didn't see any writing on the other one, but this looks like it says, let it snow up there. If you can see that, let it snow. Again, nice drill field. I haven't had any problems with these, with this series. Um, like with the uh, Thanksgiving one and the um, Halloween one with reading the symbols or anything like that. Haven't had any issue. So um, the only problem that I have, and I'll show you um, more with the Thanksgiving ones when I go to show you that, the, the Halloween ones and the Thanksgiving ones, they used a lot of orange and yellow together and they kind of wash each other out, which... Um, is annoying. I wish they would have chose different shades or something. So you've got a black, a nice yellow, green, a darker green, orange, a different kind of orange, like a pinky orange, peach maybe, a couple different sizes of red, and you've got a nice yellow green here and then a bag of white so again there's your snowman set these aside here and then number three is this nice santa with a present down here. He's very jolly, very smiley, um, and a nice Christmas tree with uh, presents underneath. And it looks like he's standing on snow, probably outside. Very jolly face there. And these are, these are cute. These are small. Now with me, I mean, single place and everything with these you kind of have to single place i mean you could probably you could probably get away with multi place in these even though they're on a curve you could probably do maybe like a three placer and get away with it but me you know i've said this multiple times i single place pretty much everything that i do so um it takes me a little bit longer than probably it does for some people. I think maybe I spend, I think, I think for these, they take me, um, maybe like two hours to do. Probably other people probably only take them like 45 minutes. <laughs> All right. So we've got some pretty reds, black, nice purple, Kind of like a, it's a brown, amber brown, that peachy orange again, 
trying to hold it. I'm like sitting down and looking in my camera, so I'm trying to hold it to get the least amount of glare on there. And then you've got your, you've got three sizes of yellow. And then this one here, you've got two different sizes of white. You've got like a nice gray there. Um, this is kind of like a, a yellow, a pale yellow. And then a nice green, like a light green color. And I don't think I've asked you guys, how are you doing today? I hope well. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I did, um, I believe, in my last video, ask you how every everybody's Thanksgiving was. So I hope, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and is now getting ready for Christmas. How many of you went uh, shopping on on Friday for Black Friday. Um, we actually were going to, but we were so exhausted that we didn't. We didn't wind up going anywhere. Here's your Santa. Okay, fourth one here. Are these cute little owls on a tree branch with some lights and ornaments, which is really cute. I like how minimal this is. You've got some snowflakes in the background. Um, but there's really, you know, there's not a lot of stuff going on in the background, so you can really, really focus on these owls. So let me bring those up so you can see those owls, really. They're cute, huh? And there's your ornaments there, and you can see the snowflakes in the background. So, number 50. Where is my number 50? This 50? Yep, this one right here. Yeah, we didn't, um, I went to, uh, what is it, Joanne's on Saturday. We didn't go anywhere on Friday, but I went to Joanne's on, on Saturday, and there was really nothing there that I wanted. I got a few things, but, um, just some blank canvases and some glue, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so you've got this, this amber uh, yellow there, black, two different sizes of red, this brown, it's almost got like a little bit of a purplish tint to it, um, yellow, a nice light green yellow, um, beautiful blue, this has got to be your background, your three different shades of, or sizes of blue, and then you've got more of a amber color there, uh, and then um, white. What was I thinking? This is um, was that? What am I thinking? I know that I usually call it. Um, I think I I usually just call it amber, but but that I think this owl one is going to be really cute because it's so simple, and that. That background is going to be really pretty. I like that color because it's kind of like it's like a icy blue rather than you know like a sky blue. So I think that's going to be I think that's going to turn out really nice. Okay, uh, how many was that? Four. All right, here's number five. You've got your Christmas stocking. This is Merry Christmas and a little moose. And he looks like he's sleeping in the stocking with a, a Santa hat on. He's got, oh, he's got ornaments hanging from his um, antlers here. If you can see, because you can see the lines right there on each one of these. So yeah, it's like, it's, it's like, ornaments hanging from his antlers which is really cute super super cute so this is number 47 uh, this one here I like also that these have um, individual bags of drills rather than them all you know 
like in one bag so that you're you you don't have drills sitting around to get all nine done you can do them each individually like you could even buy a nine pack like this and um you guys could you know sit around you could get family members kids whatever sit around each has their own little canvas their own little pack of drills and you can um sit around and have like a, a nice diamond painting uh get together right so you've got white you've got this really pretty kind of coral uh reddish orange there you've got your dark amber you've got an even darker one here almost a, a dark brown there um this is a little bit lighter of the amber color um you've got red black and then three different sizes of green super fun and this one didn't have an extra one all the other ones had extra um little bags with it but this one didn't this the whole strip was one but yeah I like that they're all in the individual bags because it really does I mean you can definitely share and enjoy together okay here's the next one it says joy to the world with a reindeer Santa holding a penguin and a snowman and you've got snowflakes all over the place and I like that there's like a little Christmas tree in the joy that looks like upside down candy cane super cute see that that's super cute joy to the world on the bottom okay this is number 54 which is this one here this one's got that peach in it. There's a peach color that these are typically using for faces, and it's such a cool looking color. All right, we've got white and black. We've got that nice dark coral red. Nice green yellow, light yellow that has a green tint to it. You got a nice light orange. You've got a nice peach, and like I said, I, that's probably the F. What is that? So that is, where is that on here? Oh, it's like Santa's cheeks. There's two on Santa's cheek there. Oh, it's on, their, on the snowman's cheek too. But I don't see any more. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not seeing any more of the Fs on there. Which is interesting because that's literally four drills. Yep, literally four drills. And they give you all of that for four drills. I'm not seeing them anywhere else. So, you're, you're getting a lot of extra on these. Um... This is that nice peach color that is for the face. And then you've got three different colors of green, or three different sizes of green. Yeah, I don't see F anywhere else but those two on the cheeks of the two characters. I'm not seeing it anywhere else. So you literally have are using four drills of that. And they gave you all of that. That's so interesting. I have to show you, I have a bag. If you see this here, this bag here. So all of this, not all of it, but I would say 80% of this bag here is all the leftovers from the Thanksgiving, nine Thanksgiving diamond paintings that I did. So I'll show you those, like I said, a completion for those at the end of this. This is your next one. This is really cute. You got a gingerbread man who's hanging off of a candy cane on a string of lights. There's presents hanging down. It says Merry Christmas here, and it's really cute because right here and right here, you have a little snowman face and a little Santa face. Now, they're not diamond painted, but they're super cute anyway, sitting in there. You got your nice little gingerbread man having a blast on this. 
Oh, that's super cute. That is really, really cute. All right, so number 53. And this is the seventh one. I got two more left to show you after this one. Okay. Oh, this has got some really pretty colors in it. So you've got this very light green with a yellow tint. You've got that bright coral, purple, got an orange, that clear blue. This is more of a of a icy blue here, darker aqua. Got three different sizes of this darker blue, and then here you've got you've got white and black. You've got more of that bright coral color and a super bright yellow. I'm having a lot of fun like um, with these. I think if you remember on my Thanksgiving one, I showed completion of the Halloween ones that I did. And I, I really only did four, four of those. I haven't finished any more of them because Thanksgiving's not my favorite. I mean, Halloween, excuse me. Halloween's not my favorite um, holiday. It's fun, but it's not my favorite holiday. Um... But I did finish every single one of my Thanksgiving ones. Here's your next one. Yep. Santa holding a present and a gingerbread man. And it says Merry Christmas down here on the bottom. Look at that cute face. That's super cute. I, I like this green background too. Green's my favorite color, so I really like that a lot. So number 48, that's this one. Oh, and the color, the, the actual color of the drills, the green ones. Oh, love them. So you got a bag of white here. You got that nice dark coral color. You got a nice like amber yellow, um, a light green. This is a... Uh, I want to say it's black, but it's a really, really dark green, and it's hard to see it. I know I, I'm looking in the camera. I know you can't see it, but when you hold it really close, maybe if I get my little flashlight out, get my trusty flashlight that my husband got me out, maybe I can shine some light on there so you can see the green. Can you see that? Uh, nope, you can't the way it should yeah maybe down here in this corner you can see there's some green right you can see the green tint just a little bit I know that was super bright guys <laughs> it's a very dark green you've got that like peachy color you've got black you've got a nice pink then you've got look at this background oh to die for green it's like that lime green color it's so pretty one of my favorites. Love green. Love that color so much. And I think the next one has that same color in it, which is super exciting, because then I'll have two of them with that color. Okay, and then the last one is some elf shoes. ha! <laughs> and it says, Be Merry at the bottom. Super cute. Be Merry with some yellow bells on it, it looks like. Almost, like, they drew them kind of like the feet from the Wizard of Oz, you know, the witch. <laughs> the Wicked Witch feet. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. It would be nice if maybe there were bells on there, but then I guess maybe if there were bells on the, on the point, it would be more of like a gesture. Jester, so... I think it's cute. Just seeing the feet is super cute. And this has got the least amount of colors. You've got white. You've got that nice, like, amber red there. Black. Yellow. And then three different sizes of that beautiful green. Nice. That's super fun. All right. 
So to recap, you've got your elf shoes, you've got your Santa, you've got your gingerbread man, you've got your joy to the world with your reindeer, Santa, penguin, and snowman. You got your moose in a stocking. You've got your two owls. You've got a jolly Santa with a Christmas tree. You've got a cute snowman. And then you've got your penguins dancing or chilling out around this Christmas tree. Super cute. Okay. So let me put all these aside and I'll show you now the completion of the Thanksgiving ones. And you guys are gonna love these. These turned out really well. And I still have the plastic on top because I haven't cut them out or anything like that yet. So I'll have to put that aside. So here's the first one. Look at that. So this is the gourds in the patch with the flowers. And when I look at it in the camera, it looks um, way more distinctive. Like all of the gourds look way more distinctive. Um, I really like this one because I love the purple in it. Um, but the fact that they used, so it's, when I pull it up and you see this flower, so all of the flowers here actually have three different colors in it. And it's really hard to tell I'm going to flash it in the, in the light there. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, what I was saying was, it's really hard to see, flashing that in the light, that there's three different colors of yellow in that. But overall, I think this one turned out really good. I, again, I like the purple in it. I like the clear kind of like pale yellow background in between it all. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it looks good. So let's set that one aside. Actually, let's put it over here. And then this is the next one here. The Happy Thanksgiving Pilgrim. Happy Thanksgiving Pilgrim. Sorry, just moving stuff out of the way. Um, this one actually had one of the colors. It was, uh, I believe it was labeled letter E. And I opened up the bag and I'll tell you what, I couldn't find it anywhere on this canvas. So I'm not sure if maybe because everything was such a similar color, if may, even that the E was like another orange color, I, I might have covered it up with something else, but I don't know. I mean, they were all very similar. Um, when you look at it here, this pumpkin has um, three different colors of orange in it. And it's really, again, it's really hard to tell. So, like, I I like these. I enjoy doing them. But in the scope of it, you know, when it's all said and done, you don't get, because they used all the same colors and they didn't outline it with black to distinguish it, it's really hard to see some of the aspects of this. Um, that leaf is a little hard to see, but it's a little bit more distinctive than this pumpkin. You can see this pumpkin but this one just gets washed out because the shade of this outline is so similar to the background that it's hard to see. There's actually a leaf up here, up here too, that you can barely see because it's all the same color. So I really like the way that the writing turned out and I really like the way that the hat turned out, but it's again it's it's hard to see <laughs> okay so the next one is this this old school like pie tin looking pumpkin 
And see, this one I really like because I, first of all, I like the checkerboard pattern in the background, and I love the contrast that you get from having a matte color of the white, not shiny, you know, regular matte color, against the shiny of the crystals. It really lets this pumpkin stand out, it really lets this ribbon stand out, and it really um, just, it just looks good. I think it turned out really, really well. You can see the different colors in the pumpkin, and I really think that you can see that because you have it on a white background. It's not clouded by all the same different colors of, or all of all the different shades of orange. You're able to see more distinctly what this is. So I really, I really like this one. Okay, the next one is the turkey. Happy Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, again, having a white background I think makes a huge difference. You can see, and the drastic different colors here, you can see distinctly that there is one gourd here or a carrot. You can see that there's a pumpkin here. You can see that there's a melon here and apples there and I, I guess that might be a strawberry, but you can definitely see it's something different, right? You know, you distinctly can see what all of this is. And I really like that. I think this one turned out really well. I love the white background. You can read the writing very well. I think it turned out really good. And every time I lift it up, I shadow. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to show it to you. I could zoom in more, um, but sometimes I feel like it's easier if I just lift it up. Okay. So the next one is this, these three gnomes in a truck, in the back of a truck. And it's a super, super cute picture. However, again, it's hard to see the definition of these um, hats on these gnomes. It's it's just, that one was up a little bit. It's just hard to see. Um, and in person, you get so much reflection off of all the crystals that if you're not looking at it straight ahead like this camera is, you it, it just all blurs together. Um, you have to look at it straight ahead. So I think, I think Though when you're looking at it up close, like that, I think it turned out pretty cute. I like, I think the truck looks phenomenal. They definitely um, did the shape of the truck really well. Um, you've got, the gnomes look really cute. I have no idea what they're holding in their hands. Um, I wish I did, but I don't know. I couldn't tell you what's in their hands. But I had fun doing it. <laughs> All right. This one I did a little bit of a whip and chat on. Um, this gnome one, which I think is cute. I think it turned out better than the other one because you can see, like I can see the difference I can see all of their hats from where I'm sitting. I see all of their hats. I can see that this one's holding a pumpkin. I can see this one's holding a maple leaf. I can see that this one's holding a pumpkin. So I think that in itself makes this one um, more pleasing to look at than the one that I just showed you. And you can read the Happy Thanksgiving very well. So I think that I think that turned out really well. I like this one a lot. Okay, next one is this turkey, Thanksgiving. And in person, I can see distinctly the pumpkin. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with the bottom here, if that's supposed to be shade or what. 
Um, I haven't really figured that out. Um, but I think the turkey looks really cute. I couldn't find any googly eyes. I was trying to find some googly eyes to put on them, but I couldn't find any. I thought I still had some left over, but I guess maybe I don't. Um, so, I think it turned out good. This was the first one that I did that my um, husband picked out for me to do. And I think it's cute. I like the turkey on there. Okay, and then we have this one, pumpkin and sunflowers. Now see this one, when I did it, I was like, oh my gosh, that red really stands out. But I think it works so much better than not having it. Because as you saw on the other ones, it just blended together. Even on this one, um, when you're looking at it, I mean, I can see the different colors, but it's not as distinct as these. These stand out really well, and I like that. I like that contrast. You also have a difference in your flowers. If you look at this one, this one's got some orange in it, whereas these are all different shades of yellow. And so it's it's a lot harder to see these when you're looking at the picture. You can you can see this one way better than you can see the petals on the other ones. But I think it's cute. I I really like the pumpkins a lot on this one. And the last one that I have to show you, it might be my favorite um, outside of the the pie tin one, you know is this one, the acorns. The fact that they used black to outline just made it that much better. And the contrast between the, the matte white along with your nice green and your orange and your brown, I think, I, I really like this one a lot. I love the first one be that I showed you because of the purple. Um, and the pie tin and the other turkey one because of the white background and then this one as well because of the white background i think that this one turned out phenomenal i think this would be really cute to have as um like a, a little center display table mat you know you could you could cut this out you could seal it you could put some cork underneath of it and um you could have it on your table for decoration. You could put a candle on it, and I think it would just, I think it would look really, really well, um, really good as a, as a little decoration. It turned out really well. I like this one a lot. Like I said, I think this one, I think this one's my favorite out of all the ones, which is, which is funny because I don't, I don't remember on the unboxing um, if I said, I, I'm sure that I said that I liked it a lot, but I probably picked something else as, as my favorite, but this one turned out to be my favorite one. And it was, it was a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> All right. So there is your nine, uh, completions of the Thanksgiving ones. And we will kind of spread out our Christmas ones so that I can take a picture of them. So let's spread these out all nice, kind of nice, <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah, there we go. How's that? Kind of nice, a little bit nice. And I'll zoom out for you guys so you can see basically a big shot of all of them. And yeah, let me know what you think about the completions. Let me know what you think. If any of you guys have bought this one, this pack, and I will keep a lookout for ones for say Valentine's Day and maybe St. Patty's Day. We'll see because I really like these nine packs and I really think that they should do them. Um, for all holidays, I'll have to check because I'm not sure if I got them all from the same store, same store, but if I did, maybe I will contact them and see if maybe they, they plan to do some for the other holidays. Because let me tell you, 
these are great. They, they give you nice things to do during the holidays. You're not doing just one diamond painting. You've got nine different ones that you're doing for that holiday and it's fun. You have nine different pictures to enjoy for the whole, you know, time of that holiday. All right, everybody. So thanks for joining. Uh, leave a comment. Um, subscribe if you want to. Um, hit the like button if you want to. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.